Welcome to this episode of Success Sunday and in this video I'm going to be talking about one of our personal big successes here at Assets for Life because I'm now standing on one of our latest land development deals and we have just sold the last unit. Now if you're new to this channel make sure right now you hit subscribe and the notification bell and stay tuned for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7.30 p.m. So here we are in Colchester and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make big lumps of cash through land development deals regardless of your experience, regardless if you have money or not because there's a simple system to follow. I'm going to share this with you right now so stay tuned. So this is all possible ladies and gentlemen because of our property freedom formula. This is our seven step system that you can copy. This system fits a hundred percent of the marketplace I'm now going to talk you through the seven steps and how each of these seven steps relate to this land development deal so step number one is mindset well you are the best version of you that you can possibly be and you've always got to be striving to be that better version you are absolutely okay who you are right now and what you've got to remember is you bring a lot to the table You've got to understand that you can become a property investor, you can do land development deals, even if you've never done one before, and I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. So you've just got to tell yourself and make the decision, yes, I've got the right mindset, yes, I'm going to become a professional property investor. Make that decision right now on this video that you are going to go and do your first land development deal. This is exactly what I did back in 2016 when we decided to buy this piece of land. Step number two in the freedom formula is funding, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're watching this video right now and you've not got big deposit pots and you think you need to go and use hundreds of thousands of pounds of your own money to do deals, you're 100% wrong. You will go and use OPM, other people's money. That is exactly how I have been able to do this land development deal where we've built seven flats and two houses and made a big lump of cash. So what do you do? You need two parts to the funding. Part number one is you need what we call the equity piece, which is typically 20 to 30% of total cost. And then what you do, you go and get development funding and there's many development funding companies out there that will lend you the money you need to go and build it out. So we use an investor for the equity part of this deal and then we used Funding Circle who covered part of the purchase and also covered the build cost including all of the professional fees and legal fees. This is a no money down deal. This is how you get houses using none of your own money. You raise joint venture finance and you go and use development funding which you can get really really cheaply. Step number three, step number three, this is what we call site finding. And in this step, you have to make a decision as an investor what type of deals you're going to do. And there's many different types of ways you can make money in property. You've got single lets, multi lets, lease option deals, deal packaging. You can go and do uh, option type contracts. You've got um, land development, commercial conversions. So I made the decision back in 2015 that I was going to have a hybrid strategy. Number one, I wanted to focus on high cash flowing assets like HMOs, houses in multiple occupancy, where you buy a house, you convert it from a three bed to say a six bed, and then you rent the rooms out to professionals. But at the same time, I also, also wanted to go and do land development and commercial conversions. Because I don't know about you, but I had a real big desire to start making big lumps of cash. 
So in step three, all you need to do is make the decision what's gonna be your primary and secondary strategy. And this is what I recommend. 80% of your time is spent on your primary strategy and 20% is spent on your secondary strategy. So land development initially was my 20%. It's now become my primary strategy because over a period of time, you systemize the strategies that you're working on with processes and procedures and team members, and then you can bring new strategies into the business. I'm really, really excited about this deal because this actually was my first ever land development deal. We had the offer accepted back in January 2016 and we have literally over the last couple of weeks just sold our last unit and the profit is tied up for us in the last unit. So we can really now go and celebrate. Let me just quickly show you the development. It's really quite exciting. So what we have here is we've got the two houses, okay? Uh, two houses, um, really nice size. And then just to the right, we've got our seven flats. So two houses, seven flats, very simple to do. Uh, this was my first ever land development deal. So the question is, what's holding you back? I want you to get the best out of this video, so please leave me a question or a comment right now and I'll answer that and I'll come back to you really quickly. Can you please also like and share this video right now so we can get this message out to lots and lots of people and help people like you achieve financial freedom. Step number four is what we call appraisal and that's knowing your numbers really well. And what you need to do is you need to get good at finding and analyzing deals. Now look, in this current marketplace, there'll be lots of deals you look at and the numbers don't stack. But there'll be lots of deals that do stack and they're the ones you wanna be focusing on. So let me give you a big top tip now when moving into land development and say bigger deals like commercial conversions. You wanna make sure that you are making at least 25% profit margin on what we call GDV, which is gross development value. And that's the value of your site at the end of the build when you refinance or you sell on the units. The GDV for this particular site, ladies and gentlemen, is two million pounds, two million pounds. So our profit margin when we started this site was in the region of half a million pounds. Now we didn't make half a million pounds from this site. We've made less than half a million pounds. We had some issues at the beginning with prelims and piling, um, a few bits and pieces during the build scheme. And this is why it's really important for you to have margin in the deal because if something doesn't quite go according to plan, you still walk out at the end with a big lump of profit. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're really enjoying this video. And if you want to know more about how you can get involved with land development deals and make big, big lumps of cash, click the link in the description right now and come and join me at one of my up and coming events where I will give you this entire system and show you how you can start doing deals just like this. Uh, you can grab a complimentary ticket right now. Um, come and hang out with me. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. So go to the description right now click the link and secure your seat so step number five ladies and gentlemen is what we call planning and in this step it's really important for you to have an understanding of who you need in your team in order to go and build out the development so it's making sure you have the right architect, the correct types of solicitors, the right type of broker, the right type of funding company to deal with. In this step, you're going to want to make sure you're dealing with the right type of main contractor. Different property deals will determine who you use in your team. So having a good plan of attack is really important. Now in this step planning, you've also got a decision to make. Are you gonna find sites where you need to apply for planning permission or are you gonna buy sites that already has 
planning permission. Now, personally, and what we've been doing for the last few years now is buying sites that's already got planning permission. We know exactly what we can build out. We know the numbers. And as long as we get that 20, 25% margin on GDV, gross development value, we are good to go. Did we pay a premium for this site? Well, well yeah, of course, we, we bought it with planning. But did we still make a big, nice, juicy profit? Yes, we did. So my recommendation when you're starting out as a new developer, don't overcomplicate it. Don't get involved with sites where you need to apply and get planning permission because the risk goes up. Buy sites, smaller sites where you can go and build out two, three, five houses, blocks of flats, make your money, get in and out of the deal as quick as you can. I'm now gonna talk you through step six, which is construction. And you might have the preconception idea that in order to go and build developments like this, which is, look, look, look how wonderful this is. This is such a big success to me because once upon a time, I thought you needed lots of time, lots of money, and lots of experience to go and do something like this. And you don't. What you need is to become a business owner, you need to become a property investor, you need to get the right training, you need to hang out with developers like me where I can show you what to do. So this step, step six construction, is all about the build process. And I'm gonna keep it really simple for you. Go and use a main contractor that's got experience that will literally help you lead the ship forward. Uh, we use the guy called Nigel at Pond under constructions. He's a local builder in Colchester. We built up a really good, strong relationship with him. How did we find Nigel? Well, initially we went out to 10 main contractors within the Colchester facility. We interviewed all 10. We then shortlisted it down to our favorite three. And then from those three, we decided to use Nigel at Ponder Construction here in Colchester. Nigel is the smart guy. He's the guy building this thing out. You get a price from Nigel, an all-in price, and that is exactly what we did. Really simple, really easy, everyone knows where they stand, and I haven't got a touch of brick. So let me now just take you to the back of the property, uh, and you can have a little look. Now you'll see the two houses have got their own little private gardens. And here's the thing, right? This, this location is fantastic because we are literally about a four to five minute walk from Colchester Town Centre. And we're about five or six minute walk from one of the local train stations, the Town Centre train station. So location is absolutely key, absolutely key. Most of these units sold relatively quickly and we've just been waiting for the last unit to sell. Um, we actually sold it twice before. And then at the last minute, there was some type of, um, you know, the, the, the vendors pulled out um, so it's been a bit of a process getting the last unit sold this brings us on to step seven which is the exit and there's typically a couple of things you can do number one you can buy build and sell the units or you can buy build and refinance and then retain the units in the property portfolio. Now, a lot of this will depend on your profit margin and a lot of it will depend on the investors that you're working with and also what is gonna be your yield if you retain the units. Now, initially, we were gonna keep all of these units, but our profit margin during the scheme did shrink. We're still making a good tidy profit, but the profit margin did reduce. And also the investor we were working with, he decided halfway through the scheme that he just wanted to sell the units and make a big lump of cash and then use that cash into the next deal. So, you know, we, we did what the investor wanted. We've just sold the last unit for just under 300,000 pounds, and that's pretty much our profit has been tied up in that unit. So I'm really excited to say, ladies and gentlemen, we've now completed this entire scheme from start to finish. This was my first ever land development deal. We've now done other developments since then. We've now gone on and done a commercial conversion. 
We're doing a, a new build development in Loughton. Once you get your first one over the line, that's going to give you the confidence to really scale and start doing bigger deals. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make that decision right now to go and do your first land deal. Now I want you to remember that everyone watching this video, you can become a professional property investor. One deal, ladies and gentlemen, imagine doing a deal like this, where it's gonna make you two, three, four hundred thousand pound profit. What's that gonna to do to your life? Is that gonna get you from some bad debt to good debt? Is that gonna enable you to do the things that you really wanna do in life? If the answer is yes, you need to come and learn the system. Come and join me at my up and coming property and business event where I will teach you exactly how you can become financially free through property and how you can start doing land development deals that's gonna make you big lumps of cash to ultimately give you the life of your dreams that you deserve and you desire. There's no fluff at the event. It's completely complimentary. You just gotta click the link right now in the description and come and join me. Oh,